Hello and welcome to this quick video where I want to show you how to get rid of these lines that are in between your tie set tiles or in between your backgrounds. Okay, I hope you can see the problem here. I hope you can see these lines that jigger up sometimes. But this is actually not the problem, right? Because right now we are in the scene view and for a developer that's no problem. But the problem is that in the game view or especially when the game is builded, these lines are also visible and most of the time it's even worse. And you don't want your user to have these weird lines inside your tile sets, right? So as you can see here, if I go to the game view, you can see that if I start the game, it still shows these lines and it's even worse. You can see the game is running and I see these lines. That's what we don't want. And to fix that, it's actually pretty simple. Just create a sprite atlas and add all your background and tile set sprites to it. Your character sprites are not needed. The only reason why it's not working right now, even though I have an atlas, is because the option for the packing of the atlas is disabled right now. Right now there is already a sprite atlas created by default and that is because it's my own asset. It is my free pixel art samurai asset and if you are interested you can download it from the asset store. The link to that is in the description. And because I'm well aware of the problem that is occurring with these lines, I already included a sprite atlas by default inside my assets. But in case you don't have one, I show you how to create a sprite atlas for your assets. To create a sprite atlas, you first need to make sure that you have the 2D sprite package installed into your project. If you don't have it, go to project manager, then go to the packages in the Unity registry, and there you can install the 2D sprite package. After that, it's fairly simple to create a sprite atlas. Just do a right click inside the folder where you want to create the sprite atlas and go to create 2D sprite atlas. If you inspect the sprite atlas, you can see under objects for packing, packables, you need to add all the folders or the sprites itself. You can also add all the sprites one by one, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend to add a complete folder. And here you need to add all the environment sprites, so you need to add the backgrounds and the tie set sprites. Just as an example on how to add these folders, I want to show you with my character folder. Remember, you don't need to add your characters because they will most likely not cause any problems. Make sure down here that the path to your folder is correct and then double click and the folder is added. Okay, now I will remove the folder again because I don't need it. It's just my characters. And now I show you how to enable the pack option. To enable this option, go to Edit Project Settings Editor or just double click on this information here that is saying exactly that and then scroll down and under Sprite Packer, you will set the mode to Sprite Atlas version 1 always enabled. That's it. Now all there is left to do is click on Pack Preview. As you can see now if you inspect the Sprite Atlas, this button is also visible. So click on Pack Preview. And now if you start the game, you can see that while the game is running, you have no issues with these jiggery lines between your tiles. That's it. I really hope that helped you and fixed your problems. Welcome to the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Also, if you need some high quality assets for your game or like our channel and want to support us, feel free to check out our assets at the Unity or Unreal Asset Store. you find the link to our store pages in the description. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.